Hi and welcome to this quick introduction on the usage of the new Bake to Paint node. Currently Mario 3.0 has one way to convert a node or a node chain into a paintable node, so into a paintable texture. You right click on the node, you go to Edit Bake to Paint node, and you get presented with this Add Image Set dialog where you can choose resolution and bit depth. And then we click OK and we get a paintable node where we can, you know, paint over. And I could choose this paint node, go to the UVs, and make custom adjustments to um, the resolution of the UDEMS, for example. So for example, now this patch will be 256. The problem is that whenever I bake this node again, Mari would again give me this generic dialog where it, I set a blanket resolution for everything and I get a second paint node. And this is where the new bake to paint node comes in. It's actually called Bake Visible to select a paint node, just to illustrate really descriptively what it does and how it works. So the first thing we do is we take the source handle and attach it to whatever we want to bake, and then attach the target to a paintable node. And that is kind of an optional process because it doesn't really matter, which we will see in a second. Now the first important step to remember is you have to actually view the node, otherwise it will not work. Because you can see if we open the node properties, you can see this grayed out field saying current channel. That means that whatever is has the viewer node attached will get baked. So it doesn't really matter what's on the source. So I could, you know, um, create a brownian noise or whatever, or something completely different. Not backdrop necessarily. One second. So even if I view this and bake here, it will actually take the brownian noise as a bake because that is what I'm currently viewing. So that's important, very important to remember. And the second important thing is you need to actually specify a paintable mode as a target. So this target connection here is just for, I wouldn't say for show, but um, it doesn't really make a difference to the node. It's just a visual connection that I've introduced to see what paint node belongs to what base set. Now, if we, um, now this paint node is actually selected, even though if I click on it, it'll go yellow and you might say now it's selected, but it's actually, this is already specified as a target. Now, if we look at, um, if we create a second paint node, you will see the difference. If we look at this closely, there's actually two kind of shades to this node. So the paint three node is kind of a lighter shade and the paint two node is more of a gray shade. So, so this kind of shows that the paint three node currently is set as the target for any bake operation. And now if I click on this, the paint two node is, is set again. So now if I uh, press bake, Mario will bake into this paint two node. And let's change something just for illustration. I'm just gonna press the uh, paint three node and press bake again. And now the result will get baked into this paint three node. So bake paint three node and paint two node. So that is in a, in a nutshell, the usage cases of the um, bake visible to select a paint node. And you know, it's quite convenient because you can use this paintable node in a uh, node chain and Mari will only evaluate or send stuff to your GPU uh, up to this paintable node and ignore all of this stuff, which will be faster on your GPU as well as faster when exporting textures. And that is already it. Hope it's useful.